What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. It's the last day of the year and as promised guys, it's gonna be a new year and time to give my PS4 a new firmware. Guys, this video, I'm gonna go and update my PS4 to 7.02. And what I'm going to cover in this video is one, how to update your PS4 from 5.05 or from 6.72 all the way to 7.02 presently. And it's about how to jailbreak your 7.02 firmware, what are the hosts you have available and what you can try out and what are payloads are presently available as well. I'll be covering more videos later about the stability and all of that stuff later. Mm -hmm. But guys, this video is going to be about 7.02. Me updating my PS4, showing you how to update in case you haven't updated already. And guys, please wait till the end of the video because I'm going to be testing it out and then share my opinion if you should update if you're already not on 7.02. So all you people who are on 5.05, if you're staying put, great. If your people are on 6.72, if you should update or you should not update, I'm just going to check it out first and then give you my verdict at the end of the video. So ensure to stick around till the end and just to find out. Okay, so before we start out for uh, people who want to update, this is the steps here. But guys, as I mentioned again, wait till the end of the video to ensure and then come follow back on the steps. So in order to update, guys, you have this particular website. I always recommend SCE Party. And uh, it looks like it is a party happening over here, a Christmas party. <laughs> if you look over here, this is system. That's a basic update firmware. So this is going to be a shorter update file. Well, if you go to recovery, that's what I always recommend. That's the entire firmware file right over here. So as you can see, 7.02, and that's what we want. Click that, and there you go. Click on download. Opens up the mega website over here. So, so exactly about 1 GB, that's the file it should be. So guys, you can use the recovery file, or you can also use the update ones. Both is going to work. So what I'm going to do, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the update file. So this is the update file. As you can see, this is 447 MB. There's only 450 MB, roughly. So remember, you cannot format your PS4 with this. You can just update your PS4, not format. But this one, you can update and format. You can do both. So this was a little confusion in my previous video when 6.72 came out, but not a problem. We're going to go around with, I'm going to do this just for the sake of this video. So I'm going to click on download. All right. So as you can see here, this is 450 MB and this is 1 GB. I'm going to go ahead and download this one here. Let's get this through. And then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get it done on your external hard drive for it to work. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it's done downloading over here. As you can see, it's completed. It already comes named as ps4 update.pup which is perfectly the way we want it as you can see it's 469 mb so i'm going to show you exactly how the ps4 needs to read the file in order to update so if you look over here this is officially playstation.com's uh guide so it just says using a pc or a mac create a folder in the so guys uh whatever usb you're using it should either be fat32 or it should be xfat XFAT formatted or FAT32 formatted, either of them will work, not anything else, not NTFS or a Max or Mac OS journaled or any of that stuff, guys. So just make sure it's FAT32 or XFAT formatted. All right. So once you have that, make sure you create a folder called PS4 and inside that folder, create another folder called update. And inside the update folder is where you should have the file just the same way ps4 update.pup if you have it anywhere else it's not going to work so that's exactly what we're going to do i'm going to open up my hard drive and i'm going to show you how it's done so i do have a lot of files in my hard drive so don't worry about it there's all packages and stuff like that as mentioned the only main thing you need is this ps4 folder and once you open that folder you should have another folder called update just like this if you don't have it, go ahead and create one. So I do have all the firmwares over here, guys. Uh, the 6.72 update file, that I just renamed it so the PS4 doesn't read it. Uh, this is the 6.72 update file. This is 5.05 firmware. And this is the recovery firmware for 6.75. So I'm just going to rename it because that's the file name it's going to read. So 6.72 uh, recovery file. I'm just going to keep that there. I'm going to go and copy this one. That's a new 7.02 firmware. I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, so as you can see, guys, PS4 update.pup is right here. So when the PS4 is reading the update firmware file, it's not going to read this, this, or this. It's going to read only PS4 update.pup. So that's the important one. That's the 7.02 that we just downloaded. So that's the one I'm going to update to. So now there's two different ways to update this, guys. Uh, one, if you look over here, you can go to safe mode. You can start your PS4 in safe mode, then go to option number three, update system software. And once you do that, update from USB storage device, you can do that. Or you can also do it from in menu. And I'm going to show you that as well. All right. So let's leave the system. Make sure you eject your hard drive and let's go. 
All right, guys, so here we are. I'm at the PS4 right now. I'm gonna quickly log in. All right, guys, so as you can see, I do have some applications over here like YouTube and Netflix already installed. The rest are just disc games. So I'm gonna go up to uh, settings right now. And if you scroll all the way down to um, system, click on system, go to system information. As you can see, it's 6.72. So I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna show you, this is the menu, system software update. When you click on system software update, it then analyzes your PS4 to see what what version you have. And there guys, as you can see, it's version 7.02 is found and available. So you can now click on accept and proceed on, but I wanna make sure that the internet is disconnected. So I'm gonna go back out go to network and ensure that I'm not connected to the internet because I don't want any last minute surprises to the latest latest firmware. So just go to connect internet, uncheck that, come back out, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way back down to system software update. And there you go guys, click on next, click on accept, click on update. Now, something else is gonna be happening over here. So as you can see, it's the update file and not the recovery firmware. It's updating, it's copying it over to the PS4 before you do that, but here you go you're gonna get this error. And that's perfectly normal if you're already jailbroken because you've actually run the disable updates payload. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo that. So I have dark mode is already cached over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on enable updates. And now it says launching payload and updates should be enabled. Enable updates, perfect. So now that I have enable updates and I'm gonna go back to the menu and I'm now gonna try and update the PS4 and it should probably work. Okay, so going back to system software update, the same steps, click on next, click on update. So as you guys can see, it is copying over the file right now. And once it does copying, it's not gonna throw the error anymore. It's gonna go straight to updating it. So give it a second. I'm gonna let this run real time so you have an idea and probably gonna speed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go and speed this up a little quick, uh, little quick guys. So you're just gonna know what's gonna happen. So it's gonna go ahead and prepare to install. It's gonna restart the PS4 in safe mode automatically, and then it's gonna update the PS4 and it's gonna come back. So I'm gonna let this run real quick, all right? So there you go. Okay, so here we are after an update. I'm gonna go and show you that. I'm gonna go down to the system, click on system information. And guys, as you can see, I'm on 7.02 now successfully updated and I still have all my stuff. So let's go jailbreak it now. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the internet because that's how we're gonna go run our mods. So I'm gonna go to network. Okay, so guys, I'm connected to the internet right now and it's trying to download the latest firmware right away. Nope, no thank you. Okay. So here we are, I mean, I do still have my previous packages like YouTube and Netflix, which is actually fake packages. So the first thing I'm gonna do first, before I start anything off, I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down to system. I'm gonna automatic downloads and I'm gonna tick all of them off because I don't want any downloads to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and test out a few different exploits. And the first thing I'm gonna test out, guys, I, I always recommend this, is Night King. So I'm gonna go and test it out. And before, of course, before you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clear my cookies and my cache. So let's go do that right away. The settings, delete cookies, clear the website cache. Okay, so now it's loading at the official PS4 website. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go ahead and load Night King. Let's type that down. All right guys, as you can see, the first thing it does is actually loads the offline cache. So give it a second, let it finish caching up and then we can start off with trying our exploit out. For the very first time, let's see how it goes. Okay, it says cache successfully installed, but it says restart the PS4 and reopen the browser. Uh, I'm not sure about a restart. I'm gonna try it without a restart first, so. Let's go and open that up. All right, guys, here we are, 7.02. The very first time I'm gonna try it out. Fingers crossed, let's see how lucky I am, <laughs> I suppose. But hey, before I quickly start, I do see Night King has updated a lot of things over here, like the GTA 5 mods, all the different mods over here, plus the Linux 1GB version, the 3GB version. All right, guys, fingers crossed, let's go and give this a shot. I'm gonna click on Hen first. All right, let's, let's go. See what happens, it's opening up a new page. It's trying to load. Okay, something's happening, something's happening. So actually nothing really happened. It was just frozen there for a really long time. And maybe about 10 minutes, I just gave it 10 minutes and nothing really happened. This is where I'm like, okay, I should have restarted the PS4. And I think I would have avoided this if I restarted the PS4. So that's exactly what I was gonna do. Kind of realized it, and then I decided to restart the PS4 and try again. 
So guys, point to note. Okay, so we are back into the PS4 right now. All right, let's go try this thing again. All right, guys, here we go. I'm in Night King right now, and I'm going to try Hen again. Let's give that a shot. Okay, opening a new page, loading up Hen. Let's see what happens. Okay, not a problem. Let's let reload it. Wow, there's a lot of not free memory errors. And guys, what you're seeing right now is live, um, real time. I'm not going to go and delete anything out. I'm just going to let it keep going. Wow, there's a lot of errors. Maybe out of 10 times, one time it might work. So let's just see how that goes. Okay, well, after four or five system errors, this time it's going through, I think. I'm not sure how long this is supposed to take. Um, well, something's going on over here. Okay, well that was successful. You're all set. Nice. There we go, guys. I think now it's completely done. I am now successfully jailbroken on 7.02. So let's just go and check if I have the debug settings over here. And there we go. I have the debug settings. I can go to game. I can go to package installer. And as you can see, all the packages I have in my hard drive is all over here. So I am now successfully jailbroken, and as you can see, if I go to settings, scroll all the way down, go to system, system information 7.02. That's what I'm on. But guys, just to check if my 6.72 installed applications work on 7.02 after you update, let's give it a shot. Looks like it does. There we go. It is working perfectly fine. So I'm going to exit out of YouTube. Let me go to Netflix. Update later. Yep. If I had some games installed, guys, I'm pretty sure it would have worked the same way as this fake packages do work right now. So I don't think you have an issue with updating and able to have your games from 6.7 to work on this one. All right. So that's a good thing. And I do see that this has worked. I used the Night King's host and it, I, I did get about four to five different errors, guys. But then finally it went through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and restart this and I'm going to try a different host and see how well it goes. But guys, as mentioned, I will be making a video later about the stability and trying out different hosts. There's a variety of hosts available right now. And actually there's about five or six I can think of right now on top of my head. But I'm gonna go and research out all the different hosts available. I'm gonna try them out one by one and see if the stability improves with one or the other or which one is better or which one is worse. And I'm gonna make a video about that guys. So stay tuned uh, regarding that. I'll be dropping that video soon. I'm gonna talk about the stability. We're gonna talk about uh, which host works best. And we're gonna talk about a lot of things here, but let me quickly go and restart this thing. And let's try a different host to see how well that turns out. Another minute, I'm gonna talk about if you should go ahead and update to 7.02 or if you stay back on 6.72. So let me go ahead and pull up a different host here. I think I'm gonna go for SG's original host and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so there you go. I do have his website loaded up right now. In case you're dumb, this only works on 7.02. If you're on 6.72 or lower, go here. Okay, if you're a higher firmware, it can't be hacked. So guys, if you're gonna be asking that question, if you're on anything higher than 7.02, it cannot be hacked, okay? So click on the link that says JB and Mira, JB and Hen, depending on your personal habits. It's in about 20 seconds, you'll get another thing, you're all set. Okay, in case you're using Mira, the screen will go dark for a dozen of seconds. Now that sounds a little scary, but I think I'm gonna stick with Hen. All right, let's go, let's give it a shot. Clicked it. Giving it a second, he said about 20 seconds, so let's, let's give that a shot, see what happens. Okay, that didn't clearly work out. Just click OK, let it load again.
Okay, something is happening. Looks like good news. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like it worked on the, the second attempt. Simple as that. All set, I got it good to go, and launching payload, PS4 HAN version 2.1.3 is now loaded. So guys, I think it's kind of okay. It's not too bad. I don't think it's as bad as 10 attempts and one coming out of there. And I'm using a PS4 FAT. I'm not sure it's supposed to be even less stable compared to a Slim and a Pro. But what do I think about, you know, if you should update if you're on 6.172? Now here's the thing that makes a big difference. So if you're someone on 6.172 and you have found a stable host that is working perfectly for you, like Night King or Dark Mortar or Lefo or any of the other hosts that you are comfortable with and you're having really good success with, then guys, I would suggest you to stick there because 7.02 games will be backported and you can utilize it that is up to you but if you're on 6.72 and you do not have a good amount of success maybe your ps4 is not handling it too well or you're not able to get a good host you do face a lot of kernel panics so here's the good thing about 7.02 there is no kernel panics and there is no uh force shutdowns it's going to be an attempt it fails you're going to get no system memory error that's about it so you can just refresh the page and try again so that sounds like a good thing for me um because I, I know a lot of people are worried about their PS4 is getting kernel panics and thinking about what you do about it. And you could corrupt your hard drive or could corrupt your PS4. So I think 7.02 is in a safe bet because... So you don't have kernel panics, guys. And that's actually a good thing about 7.02. So what I recommend, as mentioned again, if you're on 6.72 and you're already enjoying a very stable host and you're able to jailbreak on a very good success note, maybe one fail attempt once in a random blue moon, then you can just stay in 6.72. Just wait for the games to be backported. But if you really want to go for for 7.02 then you'll have to face a little bit of a stability issue in getting your ps4 jailbroken maybe a few extra attempts to make it work but overall if you want to go and avoid kernel panics altogether and you don't want to face all of that stuff then you can go for 7.02 so guys as you can see i've already updated with 7.02 and it is working perfectly fine i don't have an issue i tried about three four different attempts it's just about as hard as just refreshing a page and i don't think that's a big deal guys just refreshing the page, clicking OK, and letting it load again is actually not too bad. I wouldn't mind doing that about 10 times if one of them is going to work. That's OK. Uh, personally, I don't think that's a big deal. But I'm pretty sure the stability is going to improve over time. And it's going to get better. And um, yeah, guys, so this is basically it. Let me know in the comments which firmware you're on. If you're only on 7.02, let me know how many attempts you take and which host works best for you. And I will be covering another video about the host and the stability soon. If you're on 6.72, are you actually having a very stable experience? Or do you prefer to go ahead and update to 7.02? Let me know in the comment, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and drop a like, drop a subscribe and um, drop me a comment as well and I, and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully covering more tutorials to 7.02 so wherever you are whichever part of the world you're watching from want to sincerely wish you a happy new year guys happy new year and I will see you guys in the next video I'll see you guys next year cheers